All right, guys, I'm sure I'm going to put this in uh, text as well, but I apologize for being so slow in communicating this week. There's just been a lot that's kind of been swirling around. Um, so I wanted to make a quick video just about some perspective about 2016. Um, this is a discipline that I've been doing for about three years now, and it's really just given some clarity on the year for me. Um, it's given some direction to it. And as we talk about entering into the year of the Bible personally for ourselves, I think that this discipline will also um, help you get more out of reading through the entire Bible. So the question is, what's your word for 2016? And what I mean by word is, what's the word that you've received from God that is giving clarity and direction to the upcoming year? And so it, it just this is just an exercise of seeking God and saying, okay, God, what is it that you want to do in my life in 2016? Um, again, I've done it for the last few years. And last year, it took God a while to give me a word. I didn't receive my word for 2015 until we were in that season of prayer and fasting. And I just remember it was one of the mornings. I don't remember who had spoken, but we were spending time with God. And I walked into my office, into the Kid Life office, walked to this big board that I just recorded all kinds of thoughts and everything. And I walked over and I just wrote, like it or not, like it or not, in 2015, you will be dependent upon God and people. And the word was dependent. Like it or not, Kevin Little, you are going to be dependent upon God and people in this year. And honestly, guys, 2015, that couldn't have been more true about my year. Um, just taking over 412 and adding more responsibility um, as Hope and I began to invest there and having to hand off things to the Watsons statewide for Kid Life and hand things off to the Hensons um, for Kid Life here at GLR. I mean, that word was prophetic, uh, but it was also talking about my heart and what was happening in my life that um, I don't like needing people. I like being independent. I like being um, on my own. And I just realized last year just the, the, the power that comes from involving other people in a decision, the power that comes from just rambling on so that people see my thought process. And it really did just kind of become a direction setting word for me um, for 2015. So like it or not, in 2015, you will be dependent upon God and people. Well, 2015 is over and 2016 is coming. And honestly, right now, um, I haven't been kind of cleared by God to um, tell other people the word that he's given me for 2016, but he's already given it to me. Um, and man, it's, if dependent <laughs> comes across as hard, this word is hopeful and exciting and encouraging, and yet it's also challenging in my life. And um, and so, man, let's do that. Let's seek God. God, what's your word for me for 2016? And here's how it impacts the year of the Bible, right? So let's say that your word is prayer, or let's say that your word is joy, or let's say that your word is love, or your word is planning, whatever it is, whatever it is that God gives you, whatever the word is that he speaks to you, that becomes your focus as you're looking through the scriptures. So let's just say hypothetically that your word is prayer. Well, as you read through the, the scriptures, use the lens of prayer because now you don't have to take in everything from the word. Now you're just looking for what the word has to say about prayer. But if your word is the word of the Bible, then you would read the word to see what it has to say about itself. What does the Bible say about the power of God's word, the availability of God's word, the purpose of God's word? So now, again, you're not having to take in everything as you read it. You're just absorbing one thing, letting God develop you in one area, letting God take you in a single direction. And I think there's power in that. So again, expect me to ask you, what is your word for 2016? What is the word that God is giving you? And I look forward to when God releases me 
so that I can begin telling you guys what it, the word is that I've received for 2016. So love you guys, and I'm making another video in like three seconds.